Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerle, and today you are going to learn how to make a favicon. Now, what the heck is that? You know when you're browsing and you have those little tabs that pop up and there's a little picture there, like a little icon, and then the title of the page? Well, you can create that in your funnel or, or your website. It's called a favicon. This is the one that I created. It's a logo that I created for my business. I call it LifeWise LLC. I pretty much run my business online underneath that name. So this is my business logo. And I, I'm gonna give you an example. Let's move this down a little bit here so that you can see it. All right, look way up there at the top. Can you see that um, top left-hand corner? You can see where it says members area. Well, that is a, a members area that I have where when people buy my workshop training, they, they click that on and they log in and I call it members area login. And it's got a little picture of my logo there. Now, how can you create that? I, for, I'm gonna show you how to go to Canva and uh, create one. Um, I won't go in a lot of detail because uh, you could go Google Canva and how to navigate that site. I do have a video on that, but I do want to show you how simple it is. What I did is I didn't go buy a logo. You can, you can go to fiverr.com and ask them to create one for you if you have a specific idea. Or you can just go Google free clip art. Since my workshop is about creating funnels, I could put a little funnel as my little favicon if I wanted to. So I came down here and I found one right here that's blue and I did a clip, uh, the little clip art thing where you sn snip it on your computer and I saved it to my desktop. I've already done that. Well now what I do is I go to Canva and I'm already logged in. It says, what do you want to design today? Well, I want to design a logo. So you just select logo and it will set it up for you. It'll tell you, it'll do it the exact size and everything. Since I already have my logo, I'm just going to upload it into my Canva account so that I can just create my logo. So down here, let's move this up just a little bit right there. It says upload. So I'm going to upload the picture that I want. And I think I called it tornado image. And there you go. See, it, it, wait for it to upload. I'm going to cross that off. It's not my first design. And I'm going to double click it. And there you go. It will fit right there. You want to make it big enough to fit right in that square. It's already pre-measured for you. And there's my logo. So now I'm going to download it to my desktop. Now I'm going to show you what you do with that next. I'm not going to download this exact one. I just wanted to show you how easy it was for you to create one. I already have downloaded one. I'm all about not wasting your time. So let's say we've already got it. Now I'm going to go to my ClickFunnels account. Okay. And we're going to go right here. What you're going to do is go into your ClickFunnels account. You've downloaded that logo from Canva. It's on your desktop. And now you're going to go under the right hand side over here where your picture is, your little avatar, and hit digital assets. And then this will come up. Then you're going to add that new asset. Just click that and that logo will upload onto this account. Now I already have that little owl that I was telling you about, like here, LifeWise. So it's in my digital assets. Anytime I want to add it to a page, I have to go here to get the link. It's like a URL link. And what you do is just click these three little dots and it says cat copy asset path. Now I've already done that. I clicked it and then it goes to, then I put it right here is what it looks like. The URL is here. You don't have to open up another tab. I'm showing it to you what that looks like. Okay. So this is the link that copy asset link. This is the link that I'm going to put into my funnel. So I'm going to hit control C and now I'm going to go into the funnel that we were working with yesterday or in the previous video, we had gone in and we changed the name, the title of that little browser tab. Now we're going to add the favicon. So what you want to do is go over here to settings. You don't open your squeeze page. Don't open anything. Just leave it there ready to edit. And over here in the right hand side, go under settings for the funnel that you want to add your favicon to. And right here, oh, it, it did it automatically, actually. Um, you're just going to place it right here where it says favicon URL. Because I already have mine 
in there and it's the only one I'm using, I noticed that when I open up funnels, it tends to just um, populate that for me. Um, earlier, I just deleted it so I could show you, but just put it in here where it says favicon URL and then go to the bottom, make sure you save it, save it and update. If you don't save it, it won't be there. Now, here's the, the clincher. It will not show up right away. It takes sometimes up to 24 hours to show up. So if you look at the top, we're going to go ahead and edit the page. Remember um, yesterday or in the previous video, we named it Lose Weight just to show that we could change the name. See that? It says Lose Weight. But you're going to notice the favicon will not pop up yet. It will take up to like 24 hours. So don't panic. It still has the click funnel favicon there but that's how you place your favicon into your funnel and like i said i showed you an example over here to the left where i've already uploaded it into a different funnel and that's what my little favicon looks like so it's really fun um, you can find some neat little favicons to put on there um, i know i was excited when i learned this but you can use different ones for different funnels or just use your own logo so everybody knows it's you. you can, it's your preference, how you want to do it. I hope you learned something new. I hope I made it easy enough for you to understand. Give me some feedback. If I go too fast or maybe I'm not clear on something, let me know. And I will definitely improve and make sure I give you good content and good videos so that you can learn these things step by step. All right. Have a great day. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Subscribe to my channel and below i have some links if you want to start an affiliate marketing business i have a free workshop down there that you can go to and and learn and then i also have paid workshops so it's up to you where you're at what do you want to do um, but there's money to be made and it's a very exciting business